Hello all you crazy people out there, my name is Dragonite, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition Futures Connected. Last time, we finished off the Pond Spectre line of side quests once and for all, we defeated the dragon. Sorry, we found the treasure, we saved the archaeology center, and today I think it's as good a time as any to actually uh, acknowledge the main story. Um, or at least what the game thinks is the main story, because as far as I'm concerned, the Pond Spectres were the main story in this... Uh, in this expansion... Epilogue, whatever you want to call it. So, let's see, I think we can stop running now. Uh, I might as well just warp on over to Alchemoth, and we can head on over to Alchemoth, and we can run up the stairs and into the castle and to the point of no return and see what's, uh, what awaits for us in the... That was just like the, like, the royal family home thing in there, right? I think so. Anyway, we're gonna go there wherever it is. Get a uh, get another look around this extremely extremely pretty ruined city of Alchemoth. And all right, so I have a uh, good news and bad news. The good news is that uh, the problems that I was having with the analog sticks on the Wii U Pro controller um, seem to boil down to the fact that uh, when I when I plugged it in, I was I was probably pushing on the sticks in some direction or another, and that caused the system when it turned on to think that the uh, the sticks were centered to some to some location which wasn't the center, and that's causes problems. And just when I when I uh, turned the thing off and turned it on again and didn't touch the analog sticks when I plugged the controller in, uh, everything is fine, and we no longer have any drifting, which is what I want. The bad news is that the uh, the Xbone controller still does drift. That just that happens on all devices that I plug it into regardless. And that's rather annoying because I like the Xbone controller. Um, I, uh, I still do use it for uh, like other games, but it's annoying when you when you take your fingers off it and it, and it drifts. Um, the other bad news is that the bottom inch or so of my computer screen that I am playing this game on right now is broken. And did I say hold on or did I say let's go? I said hold on. And the bottom, wow. The bottom inch or so of this... Why am I so bad at this? Let's go. King of Folk right here! Our king looking awfully foggy today. I would guess it correlates with the widening of the rift. It changes nothing. The time is now. Now then. Melia, let's go! My friends, lend me your strength. The future belongs to us. King of Folk will no name of hero born hero. Monster in for proper bashing. Alright, let's go bash some monsters. So, the uh, the bottom inch or so of my screen is kind of broken. And, like, the, the scan lines at the bottom are very, very blurry. And apparently I forgot to switch back to Melia as my, my main character. That's okay, I guess. Um, let's see, should I, like, go back to the Monado Armor cheese strategy that I had last time? Probably, right? Alright, whatever. Um, can you get off my butt? I really want to stab you in the butt. Yeah, your butt, not my butt. But fortunately, it's not, like, it's not bad enough that I can't read, like, large dialogue subtitles and that kind of thing at the bottom of the screen. And, um... For the most part, there isn't anything, like, super important at the bottom of the screen in this game. But I um it does it does kind of kind of get on my nerves when I'm like writing code or editing video or that kind of thing and that's that's not really fun. I don't I really don't want to spend any more money on like computer parts for as long as I can get away with. Um, so I'm probably just gonna live with it for a while. But that's just uh I can never catch a break with with my devices. Well, not breaking, can I? Hey. All right. Let's see. I think I think the shield was still up and I don't think I really needed to do that, but. That's fine. So the Fog King is actually going down kind of fast. For an enemy that has quest and quest and quest for level, 
Uh, you're not putting up that much of a fight. I guess I did gain a bunch of levels doing the, like, the Napani side quest and that kind of thing. And I guess that, um, that probably, that probably put me a little bit above where I would have been otherwise for this, um, for this fight if I hadn't been doing that, which is fine, really. Do I want to finish this off with the Pond Spectre? Yes, I do. I meant to hit Destruction, but, you know, we can work with Water as well. Two! Alright, not the best, not the best. There we go. Alright, almost got to the big part of that, that progress bar. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna bonk this thing. Um, are you immune to are you immune to? Oh no, I didn't hit days. I hit uh, I hit like healing, which fine, I guess. Let's see. I think I'm just gonna start start wailing on you with with my Monado Monado Buster if I have the option. Is that all? That can't possibly be all. We didn't even get to go into the upside down or anything. Shulk, what's wrong? The sky. Yeah, I thought so. The rift is expanding. Mother, something not right. Foggy floppies are coming together. Must be drawing its strength from the rift. And now it's even bigger. In other words, if we could close the rift, we might have a chance. It's possible. But first, let's do all that we can here. You're right. This is all over Kino's head. What does heroes learn? Fight against impossible odds is natural like freedom. Fine then. Time to dish out extra medicine and fish events with cherry on top. Extra mega serving of fishy bash with cherry on top. That is my new favorite sentence of all time. All right, let's uh, let's get started here. Really wish that I remember to switch out Melia into Ludoff and like fight as the actual main character, but um, I never said I was good at video games, so or like video production for that matter. Let's see, we can stab you in the butt. My favorite part of combat is the butt stab move, and we can uh, we can do much the same as we did before. It seems that we are making progress on your health bar uh, slowly. Uh, I'm going to Monado Buster you. I'm going to... Okay, so the shield wore off, which is a little bit faster than I really would have wanted to. Oh, no. All right, that was a lot. If you can stop moving around... Oh, wow. You're fast. All right. Um, yeah. Do that. Let's see. You're you're locked onto me, which is annoying because it means I can't do the butt stabbing move because you're going to turn to face me just automatically. I'm toppled. Uh, let's see. Whenever I get the chance, I can do a Pond Spectre move, I suppose. Would debuff resist would would include Topple, right? All right, are we are we really gonna stay down for this long? Wow. Okay. Um, this is a long Topple. Convergence Beam is what you're using now. All right. Yes. All right. Let's do this. It's one. Pond Spectres, do it now. Two. All right. Not not my best, but. Hopefully it'll get the job done, and that's gonna. All right, great. Who's dead? Oh, all right. I can't. I can't do that, can I? Let's see. Um, I'm going to want. Going to want to be able to do this again soon. I think. I can get the aggro off me and stab you in the butt. That would count for party gauge stuff, right? Right. We can definitely do this indeed. All right. Fourteen thousand damage, and. 4,000 damage, and 5,000 damage. All right, we're, uh, we're moving along here. So, let's see. I can stab you again, lower your defense. Maybe that'll do something. I can have enough. All right. There we go. 
Everyone's good again. Alright, please don't do that topple thing again. And you did the topple thing again. Um, wow. I probably... Huh. Alright, if you go after me, I have the most HP. No, um... Kino has the most HP. Or is it Nene? The pink one? Which is that? I don't remember. Collision Burst. That sounds like a scary move. I survived somehow. Everyone survived somehow. Um, alright. We're gonna take the party gauge back. We are going to do some do some friendly encouragement. We're gonna use Monado Shield, right guys? We're gonna use Monado Shield. I need just a, a little bit of... Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Encourage, come on. Shulk, why are you like, there we go. I don't know what was going on there. Alright, and, and we're in business, right? We're in business. Alright, we're halfway there. Alright, more... More more party gauge. I like party gauge. And you're locked onto me again. If you can unlock onto me, that would be great. Um... I, I don't think I was actually behind you when I did that. Let's let's go back to using... Let's go back to using Monada Armor, right? Uh, the battle is, like, markedly easier when I use Monada Armor when I actually need to use Monada Armor. I actually am not entirely sure which end of you is the front and which end is the back. Okay. There we go. Thanks for clearing that up. It's important to know which side of you to stab. Okay, so someone is toppled. If I can, if I can like untopple you, that would be that would be helpful. Oh no, that that might be one of the um, the Napon Pan Specters uh, who was toppled. Okay, um, let's see. Let's Minato armor once again, and now we can we can do a thing. Um, I know that. Strength sound would probably be the wiser thing to do, or, um, a daze, rather. Um, but I, I don't trust that move that you have that topples everything. So I think we're going to go with this one. And if I get to do it again, I will... Alright, that's not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright, that was pretty good. If I get to do this again, I will select, um, just the red one, uh, Destruction Rings from the Heavens. If I get the second chance. I do get the extra chance. Alright, so we're going to do Destruction Rinse from the Heavens. Because that should do a lot of damage all at once. Alright, great. Also great. And... Almost perfect. Alright, I think that might have actually been a full bar. I'm not sure. That's definitely by far the best I've ever done in one of these. And we can... Can take it to you. Alright. Good game, everyone. That was close. There were moments where I was... Inches away from from dying, but I think we made it. Oh, anime physics! Melia, for whatever reason, those explosions seem to be distorting and destabilizing the rift. Incredible. They saved us. Fine. Time to finish this. Please, buy me some time.
future is safe. Finally. It is. All right, is that it? Is that the game? This is a very long loading screen. They're waiting for you, Melia. 
does this world need a coronation? I just don't see the point. Don't say that. It is the will of the people. It will mark the birth of a new era. You'd also have been a fine choice. Yes, well. I'm occupied with my research, as you know, Empress Melia. Don't mock me. Here we go. Yes. That's it, boy. I I got shivers when I realized what this song was. Uh, this is a uh, this is a piano remix cover, whatever you want to call it. I don't really care. Um, I don't I don't know like music terms that well of uh, Beyond the Sky, the credit song from uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, the first time around. Oh wow! All right. Um, that was a bit of what one might call a. Uh, and I'm sorry in advance, but a, a deus ex machina at the end with the, the Teletia coming out of nowhere. Um, I wish I could have learned a little bit more about them in, like, the main game. And the text that's scrolling from the bottom of my screen is really causing my broken, my broken like, pixels on my monitor to act very funny when they, when they come in. But yeah, that was, uh, that was fun. Combat in this game is just so satisfying. Uh, this is, if I had to pick, like, a single game that I think had the most, like, enjoyable combat loop it would probably be this one even though it it took me a really long time to get used to and i would even even towards the very end i was still like realizing new dominant strategies that you could pull off with things like monado armor um and that kind of thing and actually how to like play as melia because that was something i just had no idea about for most of the main game whenever i try to play as melia um but yeah i um i know that there is xenoblade chronicles x xenoblade chronicles 2 and I think by the time these videos are going to come out, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 should be out. I uh, definitely would like to play all of those games eventually, although I have a few other things on my plate that I'd like to play first for YouTube, so it's probably not going to happen for a few years. The wire just fell out of my controller. I hope that doesn't mess anything up. That was really fun. I probably played a total of about 200, maybe 250 hours of this game in total, and... I, uh, I, I think it's safe to say that I enjoyed pretty much all of it. Xenoblade Chronicles Future Connected. My name is Dragonite. Thank you to everyone at Monolith Soft for making this wonderful game. Uh, additionally, thank you to Chugger Conroy for doing a Let's Play of this way back when, uh, which introduced me to this wonderful game. I hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you all later.